It is everywhere. We need it. We want it. We even find it in places where we wouldn't expect it. When researchers examined the stomach of a beached sperm whale in 2012, they found 30 square meters of tarpaulin, a four and a half meter long hose, a nine meter long plastic rope, and two flower pots. How is this possible? On average, a European uses and disposes of more than 100 kilograms of plastic per year. The large part of plastic waste ends up on huge landfills or in the sea. Today, more than 100 million tons of plastic is drifting around the oceans. Due to particular currents in the Pacific Ocean, a new continent has been born. A mass of plastic waste the size of Europe. In some areas of the oceans, there is up to 60 times as much plastic as there is plankton. Because plastic does not rot, it lasts up to 500 years. Through exposure to sun, wind and water, plastic is broken down into microscopic parts. These plastic particles can absorb high concentrations of agricultural and industrial toxins. Many animals mistake the plastic for plankton and eat their fill. Every year more than 100,000 turtles, marine mammals and seabirds die a slow and painful death because they starve with a full stomach or because their intestines rupture. Other marine creatures in whose cells plastic and toxins have accumulated end up as seafood on our plates. The smallest form of plastic are microplastics. They are added to cosmetics, shower gels and toothpastes. A tube of toothpaste contains up to 10% microplastics. But sewage plants cannot filter microplastics, so they too end up in the sea. In the making of plastic, hazardous chemicals are used in order to enhance elasticity of fire resistance. Bisphenol A, plasticizers or flame retardants are contained in almost every plastic product. Through exposure to heat, the wrong detergents or simply over time, plastic will go brittle, thus releasing these chemicals which in turn, through the airways, ingestion or through mere touch, fight their way into the human body. The consequences are severe. They include increased risk of cancer, asthma, infertility and developmental disorders. The plastic industry tries to cover up any scandals and runs a gigantic lobbying campaign in order to prevent stricter laws or inquiries. Plastic factories are veritable fortresses, the plastic production process a tightly kept secret. This is one of the reasons why no one is exactly sure what substances are added to the plastic. Over the course of the last 10 years, only 11 chemical substances could be analyzed out of a total of 100,000 possible additives. But there is hope yet. Intelligent robot nets or fishing boats converted to floating recycling factories are intended to cleanse the oceans. Bioplastic made of maize or starch could replace conventional plastic. However, its production consumes valuable food, so it's no solution for satisfying the global demand for plastic. This is why you must radically change your consumption behavior. Pay attention to the packaging of products. Substitute paper or cloth bags for plastic bags. Don't throw away old plastic, but recycle it and use plastic-free products. Are we going to allow the destruction of the Earth to continue? If we act now, there may still be hope for future generations, before the miracle material definitely turns on its creator.